In today's video, I'm going to just outline for retail staff uh, one of the scams that has been pulled by end users. Uh, and I'll give you two examples today. The one I've got here is a Uniden phone. Oh, I've got two Uniden phones. I'll show you something that customers will try and do uh, to the dealers. The end, end user will do to the dealer. So in this example here, we have an XDEC 8.3. 55 five plus 2. Now the dealer does know about what has happened here. The customer has brought back in it a unit which is a deck 1735 plus 2. Uh, the other thing with Uniden's phones, the first number is the year of manufacture. So that is a, basically a 2017, it being 2019 now. So that's a 2017, if it was a 6, it'd be 2016, 8, 2018, and so on and so forth. So what the customer has done, or what happens, I'm not exactly sure in this account, but what they will do is they will have an old 1735, and after its warranty period, something goes wrong with it, and it fails, they'll come into the store and they'll buy a new one. In this case, we'll buy the 835, uh, 8355 plus 2. They take that home and put the old one back in the box, walk back into the store the next day, and hoping that the uh, retail staff doesn't go through and check what's in the box, say, hey, I bought this yesterday, here's my receipt, and uh, give me a, a refund because it doesn't work. Oh, okay, no worries. They may even look and go, oh yeah, it's all in there, great. But the thing is, it's not the same unit. They'll do it with the same unit as well, which is why it's absolutely necessary. And the only way to really save yourself from this is on your receipts for the customer, when you sell something, is to make sure that the serial number, the entire serial number, is written down. Now you might think, oh, that's painful to go through and open up the box and check everything out. Well, most decent units will have the serial number printed on the box. There, there. So the unit ends do, even on their cheap really really cheap units they still have their serial numbers printed on the box all right so that's one thing of swapping the whole thing out the other one is this where they will have one faulty handset or something and we've got this one back and it is a decked 1615 I open it up and this handset is from a DECT 1735 plus 2 with a woeful ear. So it's a different model, not only just a different serial number. So someone has decided, okay, I've got a faulty handset at home. It's not even the same colour. And then I'll just go and buy another one and shove this back in the box and try to get a credit for it. Well, the distributor is not going to give you a credit for a mixed lot. So it's important, those two things. Number one, serial number on the receipt. Put the serial number on the receipt. And two, when someone brings something back, open it up in front of them. And if they refuse, if they you know make a fuss, a song and dance, well you know that there's something going to be wrong. So definitely open it up in front of them and check those serial numbers see if they correspond to the serial number on the box that they're bringing back and also see if they correspond to the serial number of course on your receipt and the other thing the third thing make sure if it is a unit like this with one or two or three uh, make sure that it is all the same the serial number in all the unit ends, especially, is all the same. 